everybody. So today is Monday the 31st of January. Um, um, tomorrow I will be eight weeks. Um, sorry I haven't been posting. I think it's been three weeks. I've been so busy, but I'll talk about it after um, I talk about my symptoms and how I knew I was pregnant before my EFP, big fat positive. So I've already gained 20 pounds, believe it or not, I did. Because I'm really, I'm high risk. Like even when I um, shop for groceries, um, I cramp up a lot. And like I really can't do any type of workout or anything. Same thing with, um, Conceiving Abigail, my nine-year-old, now she's, it was really hard. Like I had to be in bed rest. So I'll gain a lot of weight, <laughs> but it's okay. It's worth it. You know, I could always work out when I'm done. Um, as soon as I'm, you know, as soon as the baby's out. <laughs> but anyways, I'm excited. Tomorrow is my checkup and then... Wednesday is my ultrasound. The girls are so excited. Like, Abby kisses my belly goodnight. I'll be like doing something, washing dishes or just kind of cleaning up a bit, folding clothes or something. And Carly would just tap me from the back and kisses me, and kisses my belly. Like, she, oh my God. They, they are so in love with this baby and I'm just, I'm still hoping and praying that, you know, this baby will stay because I'm still really early and I'll keep you guys posted on the ultrasound and all that stuff. But anyways, yeah, my girls are so happy. Will is so happy that man's been working crazy though because he wants to get a family car now and, um, yeah, he he works like crazy. I don't know any men in my entire life that ever worked like as hard as he does. Like he works from 8 a.m. to like 4 a.m. sometimes, sometimes 12 to like 2 a.m. He's he just wants to make sure we are covered before he dies. He's like, I want to make sure you know my girls have everything that ever wanted in life before he dies. So he's crazy. And I'm like, no, we want you home too. <laughs> you know, we, we want him to have, his health is more important to us too than money. But he's like, I know, but you know, he loves his girls and that's what he does, you know? But when it comes to his girls, like if there's something like an event or something with the school and all that stuff, he will take off. For both girls and I love that about him he loves his babies anyways sorry I'll talk about that after this okay here we go December 19th 2021 was my ovulation day and I know when I'm ovulating obviously because of my chart my LH strip um, I was cramping on my left side in the afternoon and lower back pain all day all night okay it it's so uncomfortable to where i just want to lay down all day and that's my symptom for my ovulation day and it's funny because when i didn't track my lh strips like i didn't use those i didn't know i just thought i just had like a back pain and stuff but that's my symptoms ever since i started um, you know, doing the, taking the ovulation strips. Okay, so December 20, uh, one DPO. So, by the way, again, every time I make these videos, I just want to make sure you guys aren't watching this because this, I mean, it's only for women who are in their TTC journey. And, you know, like, if you guys don't want to hear anything about my body parts or anything about me, please don't watch this video. It's only for a woman who wants to, like, watch symptoms. Because when I was trying, I was actually, I was, I would binge watch these videos, you know, but um, I don't recommend you watching this too, just because 
honestly, when I used to watch it, I would like, it's called Symptom Spot. And again, everybody's different. Like, I swear, I, I'm, I'm like, oh my God, maybe I'm pregnant. And I would create these symptoms and I was never pregnant. So all I'm saying is, if you're going to watch this, please don't, don't compare yourself to me just because everyone's different. And you know, some of you might have these symptoms and some of you won't, but I just felt like when I was watching them, I would create it and it wasn't real for me. But I mean, it's still fun to watch, right? Um, so that's why I'm making it. Um, if you know me, if you're my family or friends, or you don't want to hear about my symptoms when I found that, before I found that I was pregnant, please don't watch these because it's a lot of TMI. Okay. Anyways, so like I said, 1DPO, December 20th. My nipples are sore. I swear, even when I was pregnant last month, my nipples were sore. And that's how I knew I was pregnant. Every time I, I'm not pregnant, my nipples are never sore. Like, so I kind of knew, I was like, oh my God, maybe I, I am again. Because I was like, I am pregnant. Sorry, my dogs are barking at me. Okay, um, so this is my number one symptom. It's always my nipples. Like my breasts it's always tender and on December 21st to DPO nothing really changed it's it's the same thing like wearing my sports bra I'm like yeah it's the same as last time when I got pregnant it was an early miscarriage and then so yeah it was really sore like not just by walking but like my bra is just uncomfortable my sports bra December 22 3DPO still sore I'm just gonna stop saying still sore because that's my symptom from 1DPO all the way up to now and now my breasts are so big and it's so swollen I, I'm sorry to say this but it's true like again like I said don't watch this video if you're not here for that um so 3DPO it was still sore um till this day and then I was constipated that day. And then December 23rd, 4 DPO, my temperature, my temperature dropped. So, and it says I can't cough really hard. It was so weird. My lower abdomen felt so tight. It was so sore. I had to stop myself from coughing, but it was only like a few seconds. Like I had a cough a little bit. Like I was coughing and then I'm, it was so tight. Like someone just like, pulled something out of me and I, I had to like <laughs> like stop myself because you know when you cough you use your your abdomen right to tighten it tightens so I had to stop myself from coughing because it was so tight it painful and I'm gonna post my BBT here again I wasn't too crazy about my BBT just because my it was breaking already like I needed it's really old I didn't buy a new one but I wasn't too crazy, like I didn't really obsess about it. I was just like, whatever, if I forget it, I forget it. Okay, as you can see, there's not that much um, BBT charting. Um, December 24th, 5 DPO. I woke up with a headache and my traps are really tight. Like my traps were so tight, I was like squeezing them. And that was my symptom again last month. Like I already knew, I was just like, you know, you just know, okay? And my uh, first response was very, very faint. Um, first response was very faint, but maybe it was just one of those evap indents line because that's what happens to me. That's what happened to me a few times. But again, I'm like, I could be because, because of all the symptoms from when I was pregnant last month. December 25th, 6 DPO, Merry Christmas. I was bloated all day. My throat hurts, coughing all day, especially at night. Because last month when I was pregnant, somehow I just get really sick. Okay, so that's me. When I get pregnant, I just get really sick. I have a cold, I'm sneezing, I'm, it's really bad. And um, when I was when I was eating, I ate one meal and I was so bloated that my aunt thought I was pregnant. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And she's like, are, are you hiding something from me? Just because 
I was so bloated that you would have actually thought I was six months pregnant or something. That's how bloated I was. And I don't bloat. Like, I would bloat, like, way after, like, five meals at lunch or something. I'll eat, like, five meals for lunch. And that was, like, one meal, and I was so bloated. So I knew something was wrong. December 26, 7 TPO, I woke up sweating a little bit a little bit and the weather was really cold it's so weird because why would i be sweating when it's freezing so i had a little bit of coughing um we went to watch spider-man and the pepsi at the movies tasted like medicine guys so it was so disgusting like it was it really did taste like medicine and i i was like well can you taste this something it doesn't taste good. And he was like, it tastes fine. It tasted like medicine. Girl, that's why I was like, okay. <laughs> that's weird. I think I am pregnant. Okay, so that's the one of the symptoms. Um, Pepsi tasted like medicine at 7 DPO. 8 DPO, December 27th. It looks like a faint positive line on the first response. And easy at home, it's a shadow. Last night I had a dream, a vivid dream. I took a test and it was positive. I woke up with a headache. I still have a cough, mouth stuffy nose. I don't feel good today. My ears are a little sore too. So that day I, I already knew because I saw that faint line and I'm like, but of course, you know, if you've been through so many false positive with first response, you kind of still don't believe it a little bit. Um, but the shadow on the easy at home was a little darker. It was like, it was there, but it wasn't there. I don't know how to explain it, but I will do a pregnancy line progression on my next video so I can show you guys. Um, so on the December 28th, 90 PO positive. Okay, I got a positive. Pre-mom, I see a line very faint, like the shadow is darker than yesterday. So yeah, I'm pregnant. Um, first response, pink positive, no squinting. Sneezing today, coughing, runny nose. I laid back down after I took my pregnancy test. I coughed and my left side was the worst feeling, tightening feeling, like something was pulling it. And I try not to cough and move at the same time. It was so painful, I crawled up into a ball and I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna miss Gary. It was just a really bad, like someone just pulled something there. Again, that's how I felt on 4DPO. Um, anyways, lunch, my right lower side feels like pulling. It comes and goes like I'm getting stabbed, OMG, it hurts. Worst headache all day. So yeah, like the whole day on 90PO, it was just, it was weird. It was like something just kept hurting me down there and it would disappear and then it just comes back. Like it's pulling and yeah. December 29th, 10DPO, the clear blue digital is pregnant. Guys, it's, I guess these last for six months, so it's still there. Um, yeah, um, so happy birthday to my hubs. Still had, still have a headache. Um, it says here, my lower back hurts, still coughing nose. And my nose is not as runny anymore. That's what it says. If you can hear it in my video, my I was a little stuffy in my videos. Um, so those are my symptoms, and now, if, if you ask me now how, I, how I'm feeling now, I'm gonna be um, eight weeks tomorrow, and breathing is hard for me. Of course, I gained 20 pounds, and I'm constantly using the bathroom, and um, let's see what else. I don't like the smell of fried anything fried like fried chicken or fried bacon anything deep fried um when i wake up in the morning i need to eat something or else i'm so nauseous like i need to eat something after i take my daughters to school i would seriously 
just go back to, take, to sleep because I'm so nauseous. And then when I wake up like around nine or 10, then I feel a lot better, just a little bit. Um, my lips are so dry, like it's really dry. I'm always so thirsty, it's crazy. And bloating, of course. I've been uh, bloated since December 25th. Oh, and when we watch a movie, my girls are always making fun of me because I cry with every little thing. Like, even when I leave the house and I'm like, I'll be right back, I'm gonna pick up the girls and the dogs would just stare at me and I'm just like, bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm just very emotional, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the symptoms right now. I can't wait for Wednesday. The girls are so excited. Oh my God, my Carly Rose and my Abigail and Lily. They're so excited. They're more excited than I am. Um, so I've been really busy and I'm sorry that I took forever to do this video, but I hope you like it. Um, my girls were sick for like one and a half week, like it was Abigail first. And the walk-in doctors are like 50 minutes away. So, and then um, she always has ear infection and it gives her headaches and fever and all that stuff. No COVID, just ear infection, but she was sick for over a week. And then Carly got sick two days like after she got, after Abigail got sick. So I had to take her to the same walking clinic. She didn't have any COVID, but she did have like a viral infection too. She just had to fight it all on her own. Um, but yeah, my girls were sick for almost two weeks. And then, and then when Abigail got better, she had to study for a spelling bee. She had to go do a spelling bee with a district. So she's in the third grade and December, she was in the spelling bee. She won second place. And uh, the first place was a fifth grader. And so both of them had to go to the district and they had lots of fun. And then um, Miss Carly Rose didn't tell us about her winter dance. So her dad had to, uh, he took off that day because he wanted to take us out. He's been working like crazy. So when whenever he does have time, it's like, you know, he wants, he takes us out and stuff. And then that day we had to shop at the mall for her outfit. Like, she, oh God, but she's so good. Like, she's like, you know, try on all the like she tried on like four or five outfits and and she picked one she got her sandals and everything i'm gonna post pictures she's so pretty she looked like she's 18. she had so much fun with her friends um what else happened uh and then here's also an update on the pool <laughs> Um, that'll be done in like three to four months. The girls are so excited. And, uh, oh, and my other symptom now, I really, I'm very forgetful. Like, I could walk into a room looking for something and then I'll, I'll be like, okay, I forgot. Like, I'll walk in there and then I'm like, what was I here for? It's crazy. So I, I guess they call it pregnancy brain. Um... But yeah, so I've been so busy and I really don't check my email. And I guess the school emailed us about the winter dance like a month ago and I, oh my God, I didn't even know about it. But Carly's friend's father was like, 
oh, I knew about it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I told him, you know, next time if you find out anything about like winter dances or any kind of school events, please let me know. Because I really, honestly, I didn't get the email. Like I checked it and I had to recheck it again. And I'm like, where is it? Like I didn't see it. So maybe I accidentally deleted it. I don't know. But I'm glad that's over. And I'm talking about everything like all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, next, next video is a pregnancy line. Progression pregnancy test line. Uh, and, and also my, my ultrasound. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'm so excited. I'm still hoping and praying that this baby will stay. Because I'm still very early on. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and all your support. And for those of you who are trying to conceive, I'm thinking of you guys and praying for you guys. I know how hard it is. So, so hard it is to try to conceive. So... I just wanted you guys to know that I am thinking of you guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you guys will uh, conceive soon and have your dream baby soon. Okay. <laughs>